Oh, we're back again. This is day six of our reading, the Advent Storybook, 25 Bible Stories Showing Why Jesus Came. Today, as I said, we're at day six, a promise kept. Oh, look, there's Abram, uh, Abraham and, I mean, Abram and there's Sarai and they're older and there's a boy. Wow, let's see what's going on there. Abraham, having patiently waited, obtained the promise. Hebrews 6, verse 15. Abram kept waiting for God to give him a son. He waited and waited and waited. After many more years, Abram and his wife Sarai got tired of waiting. In that time, men sometimes had more than one wife. That was not God's plan, but people didn't trust that God's plan would work. Mm, sounds like today. Abram and Sarai didn't trust God to keep his promise, his promise to give them a great family. So Abram had a son with a different wife. Thirteen years after that, God came and talked to Abram again. When Abram saw God, he fell to the ground and Abram... Abram had made mistakes, but God was not angry with him. God reminded Abram of his promise. What a good God. God gave Abram a new name, Abraham. Abraham means father of many. God told Abraham that he would have a very, very big family. Remember the stars in the sky we read about yesterday? Nations would come from him. Kings would come from his family. God also promised that Abraham's family would have their own home in a place called Canaan. Then best of all, God made a special friendship promise that would last forever. A covenant to love Abraham and his family and to be their God. Abraham had waited so long. Could he trust in God's promise? God gave Sarai a new name too. He called her Sarah. Sarah and Abraham were very old. They both laughed at the idea of having a child in their old age. Can you laugh? <laughs> they laughed at the thought. But God kept his promise. A year later, he gave them a son. Even though they had stopped trusting God, he still loved them and gave them good things. And they were so happy to have their son, Isaac. God reminded Abraham and his family again and again of his promise to love them and to be their God. And he reminded them that one day a promised son would come who would destroy evil and make everything good and new again. So here's the question at the end of the reading. What good gifts has God given you and your family? That's a brilliant question. Well, there's the picture. Abram or Abram and Sarai, and God changes their name to Abraham and Sarah. And what's the baby's name? Do you remember? Isaac. Did you know that Isaac means laughter? <laughs> Interesting. Well, there it is. We'll be back tomorrow for day seven. See you then. Bye.